They are aware of it every single day and they never forget about you. And you didn't even have to pick up the phone. You had to push one little button, say what it is you want to say, and it reaches all of them at one time. So I want to ask this, when's the last time a manager in here sold a car on social media? We're here to teach social media, why? Because we believe in timing and we believe in speed. How fast can you move on social media? Very fast. We made 40 million, I was just telling them, last year net in our company, not gross, 40 million net. I'm gonna put 100 million this year, do you know why? Because of social media. I was talking to Dominic earlier, right? Dominic, one of your oldest guys that works for you, right? What's his name? Bert. Bert. Bert said, I don't understand this. Am I right? And you know what I said? No problem. I get it. Times have changed. Things have changed. I said it would be disrespectful to Mr. Berkheimer for you not to learn this. Would you be willing? He said, absolutely. Am I right? Guess what he does? The oldest dinosaur in the company goes and pulls his phone out. I tell him exactly what to do. He was a guy who was against it. He gets on social media. He does one, one Facebook Live. It reaches 500 people in what, under 10 minutes? Has he ever been able to contact 500 people in under 10 minutes? Never. He looked at me and he goes, what the hell just happened? I said, it's called social media. It's a little bit crazy. And he goes, I, I don't understand. Like, so how do these people know? I'm like, dude, listen to me. You get out online and whatever message you have, it reaches everybody at one time. And then the next day you come again. And the next day you come again. And your great customer service, Bert, that you have to offer your people, they are aware of it every single day and they never forget about you. And you didn't even have to pick up the phone. You had to push one little button, say what it is you want to say, and it reaches all of them at one time. It was his very first live. And he had 500 people. Also, his phone rang. Wasn't that neat? He goes, somebody's calling me. I said, answer it. And what was it? It was a lady trying to trade out of her vehicle. She goes, oh my God, Bert, I just saw how excited you were about how vehicles are bringing over money right now. We're actually thinking about trading out of our car. How would he have found her? He wouldn't have. She would have bought from someone else. How much business are we losing? Okay? You got a sales guy right here that completely just tore it up and is getting warmed up and understanding it. Why can't everybody in the company be like him? Why? What would happen if all the managers bought in and the managers went live every day and said, here we are Memphis, Tennessee with the number one sales team in the United States. Memphis, you asked for the best company in the world and we're giving it to you. I'm gonna introduce you to my guy right here. He loves people. He's retired military. He loves his people. If you're looking for somebody laid back, chill, come meet Bobby. Here's a cell phone number. You can text it out. I'm gonna walk over right here. We got little Berkheimer, amazing man. This right here is the son. You know what he does? He loves his people. He's just as passionate about selling people cars as his father was. He has one flaw. He gives too much money for trade-ins. If you wanna reach out to him and let him make a mistake on your trade by offering you too much, send him a text message. You know what? They'll start reaching out all the time. Dude, I want to know something. Does everybody in the world around your area, when you walk into the room, are they like, oh, that's the car guy. Yeah, that's, that's you. That's the car guy. If you were looking at his post the other day, I was noticing because I watch everything. There's people commenting, I can't wait to get a shout out on social media when I buy my car. Am I right? He's turning into a celebrity in the area. How long did it take? Half a year. Was it worth it? Do you, do you know what life would be like without social media now? He doesn't even know what it would be like. I know what it would be like. Him living and dying by the gate. Staring out the window, waiting for the next phone call. I watch him on the showroom floor and he's alive. And you managers in here right now, if you will understand this, your sales team, they deserve to have that feeling. Okay? They deserve to have that feeling. It's not stand outside anymore. It's get on the damn phone or get on social media. If you don't have a customer, you're looking for one or you're training to get better. That's it. We have to kill all non-income producing activities in our companies. 
You guys in here that let salesmen have phones, games on their phone, you should be deleting them and throwing them in the trash can. You get what you tolerate. You want to be, you, you that complainer? Oh, um, hey, next time I hear somebody say, man, my sales guys suck. My sales guys don't do this. You're the problem. You're the freaking problem. If you don't have the marriage you want, that's your fault. If you're not the parent you want to be, shame on you. Look in the damn mirror. You're the only person that can fix it.